If you skip this video, you will not understand what this trading strategy is. Please take your time, at least 20 minutes of your time to watch this video. It's going to help you a lot. I believe that it's going to help you a lot. Hello guys, welcome to Traders Mastering. In this video, I'm going to talk about Larry Lynn's most profitable day trading strategy using the liquidity rate manipulation. However, in our previous video, I talked about uh, the lesson 2. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can be able to structure it in your trading strategy. How you can be able to use the trend fitter to fitter what uh, setup you are going to trade depends on how you are going to do it. So let's get started. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Probably my previous video, which uh, talk about the Larry most profitable day trading strategy using the liquidity rate manipulation, which is called the lesson one. In this video, it's going to be um, more insightful on how you can be able to use it for your trading. So let's see what uh, we are going to do today. First of all, this strategy is very simple. All you have to do is to look for the time of the day, which is a 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. using the New York session manipulation. I'm going to show you that in our chart. Uh, we are going to use market structure, like I said, and the time we are going to use is going to be for our candle. And I also add another bonus to it, which is going to be the trend bias, which is uh, the four hour short term highs and lows, which are going to watch what trend is forming on the four hour short term highs and lows so that you can be able to know what you know how the trend direction is going to go. So let me go to the number three. This number three is going to be you are going to separate your, your time with uh, each four hour candle stick separation, which I already said that in my previous video. And this you are still going to use the 15 minute market structure bullish or short term highs and lows you either go to your um, theory on one minute time frame look for trend change which is the tc like i said the opposite as bearish so let's see um what i'm saying now what i'm saying is that all you have to do is to look for when price is creating highs and lows on the four hour it can be like this let me just keep it simple like this all you have to do is to look for a bullish when price is making um a higher high and a higher low looking higher and higher low this is called a high a low a higher high and higher low and price is bullish on this setup which is this is going to be the four hour uh shot for example, now on the 15 minute um, time frame, this leg is a retracement on the 4 hour. But what if this leg market structure shift bullish on the 15 minute time frame and it shift bullish, it take out this high and price take out this low. This is what we called a trend based strategy liquidity on the 9 a.m. manipulation session. When you plot your candlestick on each uh, four hour chart, you will see a lot of candlestick moving up and down, but that will not be an issue for you not to take the trade. Let me show you what I'm saying. This is going to be on the 15 minute time frame. This can be like this. This, however, this can be the 5 a.m. on the New York session when looking for a setup like this. And on the 9 a.m., uh, this can be the start of the 9 a.m. All you have to do is to watch when price shift bullish at this instance, it shift bullish at this eye, it shift bullish at this eye. And price take out this low during the uh, 9 a.m. session. So that is how you take this trade. You can, for more clearance, this can be like this. Let me make it. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? This can be like this. Um, for more clearance, example. So you understand what I'm saying? When price chip bullish on this uh, 15 minute time frame, which is this. This is going to be the 15 minute time frame, like I said. So all you have to do is to look for when price chip bullish on this and take out the low during the 9 a.m. session. This is one of the most profitable day trading strategy 
I have found so well on the market so now let's see more example on our chart now this is our previous example I talk about this previous example I was talking about how you can be able to capitalize using the 15 minute liquidity rate manipulation if you notice on this chart price shift bearish at this instance shift bearish however you can also see this is not a bearish uh, trend change but nevertheless market structure has two points which is called the either the m formation or the v formation which i'm going to talk about later on in this channel so what happened in this place price creates a i create a low create a i and there was uh there was a i here and price take out that is a, a lower i and price take out this low what happened there was also a retracement for price to go down but definitely in most cases this low serve as a support during this process when uh, when price retreats into this low we should expect that price should keep on moving forward but definitely price break this uh our ms which is called the the tc which is form of the tc change in our lower time frame so but this is the four hour chart formation now you understand what i'm saying let's um see what happened when price change uh from a from a bullish state to a bearish state what is going on remember this is a short term eyes remember this is a short term low the look at the 9 m are you seeing it i already um may mention how you can be able to change your your time zone go to uh the trading view and click the setting like i said go to your um symbol go to the new york the time zone go to your new york uh, time zone so that is it now let's see what happened immediately when price change bearish in this instance what are you going to do you know that the trend is already bearish on the four hour short term all you have to do is to suppress your chart remember i told you this is uh the 1 a.m new york session this is the 5 a.m new york session this is uh the 9 a.m starting of the 9 a.m session however this is the last the last uh uh candlestick is what we are going to be using which i talk about on my previous video which is called the 9 a.m let me show you clearly this is called the 9 a.m session this is called the this is called the 5 a.m uh, new york session this is called the 1 a.m new york session that is the divider i divided it like i said in my previous video and uh in this video so now let's um go to our for our chart however remember i told you that this low is also a bullish low he has not take out this uh he has not formed the higher eye what happened also however there was also a bullish trade for me at this point are you going to take this trade yes absolutely you are going to take the trade because there is a two uh possible trade scenario which you are going to take at this setup so you place it on your you place it on the 1 a.m new york session and you place it on the 5 a.m depends on your choice you place it on the 9 a.m new york session if you notice i place it three now but however you can be able to place more than depends on on how you are familiar with the trading strategy let's go to our 15 minute time frame and see what the chart is telling us there now this is our 15 minute chart what are you seeing on this chart remember i told you that the four hour was bearish at this instance what happened price retreats into this short term eyes on the four hour 
uh, chart what happened here you look do you see a liquidity manipulation at this at this instance look at when the 9 m start look at it this is when the 9 m start price people was thinking that this chart is going to go bullish what happened there was a manipulation done and price take out this eye during the new york 9 a.m session so i already show you the example on on my previous video so i'm not going to talk more about it now this same thing also applies to this instance i told you that the trend was, is already bullish on the four hour highs and lows but there was a m pattern for me for we to take our bearish setup and this was um, a bullish setup as well look what happened remember price chief bullish and price take out these are uh, this previous low on the four hour this previous low on the four hour separation look at how precise it is this is very simple guys please take it um this is one of the most powerful trading strategy i've ever reviewed in this channel so there is going to be more coming up so this is it you take this strategy you take this setup and become profitable you go to your three minutes or one minute time frame so that is it for this uh instance i already talk about the trend bias and all that so let's see more on our recent setup now this is our continuation of the video now what happened on on march 5 this same setup appear again on our chart are you going to take it uh, profitable yes this is a profitable trade if you didn't take this uh, setup sorry um i'm not i'm not to be blame i'm not to be blame on it so remember this is our bullish uh, mss can also call this uh it's a bullish mss or bullish uh, tc remember i talk about trend change because uh, remember this is this was a uh, uh, this was a high this was a low and this was a high price was busy playing at this uh, instance so price shift bullish which is called the tc change let me just make it clear the tc bullish on this instance so this is our trend change on the four hour um so remember i told you earlier that price was bullish here now what happened you also separate uh the chart 1 a.m on the new york um 5 a.m and the 9 a.m let's go to uh, our 15 minute time frame and see what happened on this uh, instance now this is uh this is our four hour chart on the 15 minute time frame now i already marked it clear Tr trend was bullish on the four hour and there was a liquidity manipulation when price shift bullish at this play at this instance if you didn't take this trade uh sorry i'm not to be blamed like i said this is tc bullish this was also a tc which is also a tc bearish this is called tc bearish that's trend change bearish because price take out this i this uh i this previous i and price take out this previous low so what do you do at this instance you go to your five minutes the two minutes or the three minute time frame or the one minute to look for your trade setup at this instance so let's go to our um let's go to our five minutes uh or the three minute time frame or even the one minute let's go to our one minute time frame and see what happened at this instance now what is going on what is going on what is going on <laughs> i don't really understand look at what is going on here do you see a lot of rejection at this uh at this uh previous low which i talk about look at it do you see a lot of rejection this is a lot of rejection when candle wakes it but look at what happened there was also uh, a bullish uh, change at uh, this instance for example this is a, ch a tc bullish on the one minute time frame look at how precise it is when the body uh, the candle body closed because there was a re rejection at this instance this was even during the new session so all you have to do is to look for price already take out uh, this uh, body and you look for a retracement into the eye 
and look for at least three to one during the news this is even the news session do you see the 9 a.m session look at you aim for three to one arrow this is it are you seeing it even during the new session you should have only taken this kind of trade because there was a lot of rejection if you go to our uh, five minutes or even the three minutes time frame you see what i'm saying look at what i'm saying on the five minute time frame do you see how precise it is there was a lot of uh form of a pin bar formation it's not just a pin bar but a lot of rejection at this low rejection at this low a lot of rejection at this low and price move bullish during the the new york session however look at our price play successfully so that is it um let's see on um, uh, more example on the gbp usd and let's talk more insight on that now this is uh, also a gbp usd like i said this is uh something similar to the euro usd so um if you notice when price create a bullish uh, busy creating a bullish uh, uptrend what happened it was a bullish uptrend at this instance which is called the bms formation um price could not take out this uh low could not take out this low and uh, this was the low that was supporting every other price based on um this is an eye it's a weak remember you can either use the body close as um as a trend change or you, you either use the weak as a trend change however i use the candle week as a trend change when price close uh above the previous uh, week i know that we are in bullish state for example now this is it look at what happened this is on the uh the gbp usd this is a good test setup if you notice price change bearish at this instance which is called the tc bearish on the four hour the four hour was made bearish at this instance what are you going to do there was also a 15 minute completion on the four hour candlestick which i'm seeing here if you notice the 9 a.m uh manipulation session look at the 9 a.m manipulation which is this um this is the 5 a.m this is the uh 1 a.m this is the bearish uh, manipulation same thing also applies to this remember like i said this was also the low preventing all this trend from going to bearish if this low was being taken as this uh, trend should have gone bearish as well but however it was a liquidity raid which uh i'll talk about uh in my previous video this was a liquidity raid which is the x so this was it price read it but on the euro usd could not be able to take out uh that low so you can be able to look for a bullish setup at this instance so on this um and the second scenario same thing also applies like um on what i already said on the euro usd same thing also applies the the 9 am the 5 am the 1 am depends on your choice remember the trend is being bearish at uh at our four hour candlestick but remember this is bearish this is also a bullish move by taking out the short terms liquidity so you see the way um market structure is a piece of puzzle that you can fit to know how the trend is going to move in your favor now let's go to the 15 minute time frame and see what we have in it this is the example i have on the look at our precise this this was the 9 a.m the 9 a.m session what happened price form a bearish uh, trade at the one minute time frame all you have to do is to look for your tc on the lower time frame which is the one minute time frame and you look for at least three to one three to one and got it immediately are you seeing it now the same thing also applies to this instance what happened here there was also um manipulation at this instance you can also look for your tc bullish at this instance on the one minute time frame which is called on the 9 a.m zone if you notice this last um vertical line is the 9 a.m zone like like i said 
now the same thing also applied to this one this is 9 a.m is on what happened price take out these are uh, four hour short term low and look what happened you can also take a bullish uh, move by going to your one minute time frame and also look for a trend bias however there is a lot of numerous example that um i should have um go into so before i go let me give you an important example on the aud usd now let's talk about the uh, aud usd same thing also applied during the 9 a.m session and price was being bearish on the uh, uh bms which is called the bms was bearish the bms was bearish at this instance which is called the bms bearish on the four hour short term uh highs and lows what happened during the four our manipulation during the 9 a.m. manipulation session what do you see happen let's see what is going on I already told you you put it on your 1 a.m. depends you can ever put it on the 5 um, on the 9 p.m. on the New York session now let's go to our chart and see how we are going to enter this trade let's go to our 15 minute time frame and see how we are going to enter this trade you seeing what is going on in this chart if you notice uh price was being price was being bearish what happened this was also a a tc bearish at this instance tc was bearish and tc became bullish acting as a liquidity rate on the bullish uh, on the uh, tc bullish which is called the tc bullish notice what happened price read these uh, eyes what do you see you notice that there was a previous eye at this instance and the trend was bearish what you have to do is to take your setup on the one minute time frame and look to enter at this instance do you see three to one you can ever close once the day has already closed make sure you close your position that is how you became uh, profitable however this is just the 9 m manipulation session which uh i'm talking about however you can also use it on the 5 a.m manipulation session but it can only be active when you are using it with the time of the day like the 7 a.m manipulation session during the 5 to 9 a.m so it all depends on your choice but the 9 a.m manipulation session is one of the most profitable day trading strategy i have come across using the larry lens profitable trading strategy in my next video i'm going to talk about larry lens most profitable breakout trading strategy which you have not seen on the internet before this is going to be a game changer for you financial trader i would advise you to subscribe so that you will know when that video is going to come out please um feel free to comment and like the video and share so please if you really enjoyed this video please i want you to like and share this video to your friends and family i will see you other time stay tuned god bless happy trading